Africa's largest hydroelectric scheme, the Grand Inga Dam, according to proposals put forward at a meeting in Kinshasa. The $80 billion project would see the creation of the world's largest hydropower dam with an energy generating capacity equal to that of all other African dams combined. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at Congo's $80 billion proposal for the world's largest dam. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. The Grand Inga Dam project is expected to generate twice as much electricity as the current largest, the Three Gorges Dam in China. The G8 and African governments believe that this project will jumpstart industrial development on the continent and bring electricity to hundreds of millions of people. The project involves building five dams with a capacity of 40,000 megawatts of electricity, which would provide more than 10 times the amount of energy consumed by South Africa and provide 24-7 energy to the power-starved African continent. The project envisions the construction of five hydropower plants on the Congo River below the existing Inga Falls. This is approximately 225 kilometers southwest of Kinshasa, the capital and largest city of DR Congo. The first three plants will be located on the left bank and will generate a total capacity of 36,000 megawatts each. The fourth and fifth plant would be located on the right bank and would generate a total capacity of 710 megawatts each. The proposed Congo Bundy complex would, in effect, be a hydro regional hub with the capacity to generate up to 40 gigawatts of electricity, enough for more than 100 million people. The river would be diverted north of its existing route where it emerges from the waterfalls as a narrow cascade and plunges spectacularly into the valley below. The project would involve building a dam across the south of the Bundy River Valley where it meets the Congo, then diverting the Congo from above the waterfalls into the north of the valley to create a huge reservoir. In December 2007, the DRC government signed an agreement with Hydropower International, a consortium led by the UAE State Utility and China's Sino Hydro to build the dam in the Sangha Basin, one of Africa's last great remaining wildernesses with large populations of elephants, hippopotamuses, and even gorillas. This project will divert waters from DRC's Kasai River, with many opposing the dam because of its potential to destroy livelihoods and threaten local ecosystems. A multi-part financing strategy was also formulated by the World Bank and other investors to be served by the size and multitude of markets to be served. This approach was to provide for the independent development of the different power stations in the series, as well as for a phased development of each station. Each of the seven dams could be owned by different investors, allowing for a transparent and competitive procurement process. In June 2020, the Congolese government resolved to present the project to the heads of state and explore the market on the continent for the power generated. They have recruited the African Union and the New Partnership for Africa's development in their efforts to get the power station built. South Africa has indicated a willingness to buy 2.5 gigawatts of output from this dam. Nigeria is interested in buying 3 gigawatts, and mines in Katanga province are interested in 1.3 gigawatts. The turbines are strategically placed on Lake Kivu and will be clean, green, and reliable. The reservoir of water itself would stretch for more than 188 square miles, which is the size of Paris. The giant proposed hydroelectric dam would fundamentally remake the Congo, China, and Southeast Asia, but it has also become an object of contention. Some scientists say that the climate change could divert rainfall to other regions, shrinking rivers, lakes, and groundwater reservoirs worldwide. It would be the world's largest hydroelectric dam, generating enough power to supply Africa's entire electricity need. But there are concerns it could flood vast areas of rainforest and cause environmental catastrophe, endangering a delicate ecosystem of plant species and wildlife. The world's largest dam project would be a magnet for corruption in one of the world's least stable regions. The project would centralize a vast store of the region's electric and financial power, which has the potential to foster tensions and civil wars. The project may be a miraculous development for Congo and whatever threats it may bring to the country, the government will be prepared to face and solve it. Don't you agree with that? Let us know in the comments section below. 
We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.